Well, it's, it's partly the flavour and it's partly the, the romanticism of it all. Certainly romance has long sold coffee. Note the twinkle in the eye of 30 years ago. Ah, oh, that's real coffee. Fags coffee. The use of coffee is a social mixer. For you and friends, it's, it's the coffee that's made by Greg. The meeting of more than minds in the less coy 90s. Oh, I think they could get used to it. And the current coffee-born romance in a New Zealand valley. Uh, you, uh, you left this at the store. Uh. And there's another feel-good dimension for Kiwi coffee. The glow of sanctimony from buying a trade aid shop's politically correct coffee. Most of the coffee that's consumed in the world is grown in the world's poorest nations. And in real terms, the prices that are paid for coffee are at the lowest point they've been for 60 years. So we're working with groups who um, grow in a cooperative way and process their own coffee so that they get a fair return for what they're producing. Guilt-free coffee gives you a buzz, but it um, gives you a good feeling as well. <laughs> Clearly, in the coffee world, things never change. That's good coffee. Greg's instant coffee. Greg's such good company. Except maybe the cups. Now, if you want to know what the latest coffee is, it's a macchiato, a short espresso with a little foam on top, but no milk.